results of the Partners PrEP study. The Partners PrEP study is a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled, three-arm trial of daily antiretroviral pre-exposure prophylaxis using tenofovir, the combination m tricytabine tenofovir or placebo. We tested this um, PrEP strategy in HIV uninfected members of HIV serodiscordant couples from Kenya and Uganda. Beginning in 2008, we enrolled 4,758 serodiscordant couples in which the HIV positive partner was not yet eligible for antiretroviral therapy under the national guidelines of the country in which they lived. In July of last year, the Independent Data and Safety and Monitoring Board of the Partners PrEP study at an interim review recommended that the placebo arm be discontinued and the results be publicly reported because of definitive demonstration of PrEP efficacy. We reported preliminary results shortly thereafter at the International AIDS Society meeting in Rome. What we'll be presenting here tomorrow are the final primary results from the, from the Partners PrEP study during that three-arm blinded phase. In short, the results were as follows. During the course of the study, during study follow-up, uh, 82 HIV seroconversions were observed. 17 among those randomized to tenofovir, 13 among those randomized to emtricitabine tenofovir, and 15 among those randomized to placebo. This translates into a 67% reduction in HIV risk for tenofovir and 75% for combination m tricytabine tenofovir. The difference between 67% and 75% for the one medication versus two was not statistically significant. They worked approximately the same. In subgroup analyses, both medications, tenofovir alone and m tricytabine tenofovir as the combination, significantly reduced HIV risk in both women and in men. Additional subgroup analyses based on age, country, and HIV, st HIV clinical status of the HIV infected partner also demonstrated consistent results. We found no evidence in our primary safety markers, either clinical or laboratory markers, of differences between the active PrEP arms and the placebo arm, which are measures of where our pri primary measures of safety. We assessed for antiretroviral resistance in persons who seroconverted from the active PrEP arms. Of 27 HIV seroconverters for whom resistance and information was available from the active PrEP arms who seroconverted after this time of randomization, none were found to have virus that was resistant to either tenofovir or m tenofovir. tenofovir. There were eight individuals who had seronegative acute infection at the time of randomization, thus they're already infected but were seronegative at the time they were randomized into the trial. Of these eight individuals, one in the tenofovir arm, developed K65R resistant mutation, and one in the m tenofovir arm had a 184 V mutation conferring resistance to m -tricytabine. Six individuals, the remainder, did not have any resistance. Finally, we saw no evidence of behavioral risk compensation during the course of the study. In fact, condom use went up in all three study arms. Thus, in summary, tenofovir and m tenofovir tenofovir's pre-exposure prophylaxis in the Partners PrEP study provide, demonstrated definitive evidence of HIV protection for African men and women who are at high risk for HIV because of a known HIV-positive partner. We found no statistically significant differences between PrEP and placebo on key safety parameters. Resistance was uncommon, and we saw no evidence of behavioral risk compensation.